Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. We are investigating Mataramne and talking to When Yusuke. I first saw you, Yusuke. I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? They do. Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. It's possible. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Madarame has a palace too, right? So he's hiding something if that's the case. But why? Madarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. Mm. You mean like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try mm. saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden though. Why don't we start with castle? Probably not. Then what about prison? Ah, oh, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. Okay, Ryuji, one at a time. No Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? Possibly. We might need more information. A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? A gallery? An art school? An art supply store? A museum? I'm so smart. You're getting navigation? Whoa, really? It's a museum. I'm so smart. Oh, here we go, a new palace. A legit new palace. Oh, this is exciting. I'm wondering how many days we have to clear this one. Hey, wait! Did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Come on. You probably would have figured it out once you started walking on two legs. Hey. So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana. Yup, in a place of minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. What? Forget that, look. So it's not a palace, it's a museum. That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Hey. Let's go check it out. Yeah, might as well start putting our feelers out. See how far we can get in through here. It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? A palace is a scenery driven by desires. Just like how Kamoshida's palace was a castle. Mm -hmm. Madarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? Because it's not his work. You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. Well, yeah, we'll see. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? Uh, yeah, stealing from his museum. Uh, there are probably traps, too. Yeah, all those old man's fans were super strong and all. That has nothing to do with this. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Let's keep going. Yes! Well then, it's time we begin our infiltration. Ugh, are we gonna have to wait in that gigantic line? Don't be stupid, we're not going in the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. 
We'll just have to find our way up, 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 uh, up over it then. In any case, let's get going. I can feel it. It's somewhere. Ooh, look at all the people. Hmm? Can these guys not see us? Don't get too close to them. They're probably just distracted by their thoughts of the great painter. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay. Obviously, we're gonna have to go up this way. Yep. This is really how he thinks of that rundown shack? It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's just not hitting me that this is that old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. We need to do some investigating. Focus. On the sign. Mug. I can see it. It's really cool how things are super different. The exhibit is now closed for today. We wait your return on another date. Hey, send more guards over here. Just the two of us won't be able to deal with this whole crowd. Oh! This is our chance. It looks like the security is focused on the front entrance. That means there'll be less of them elsewhere. Let's go. <sighs> Security is tight at the front entrance. We should bypass them and head in another way. I can see it. Yes, master. Passing them there. I have something. It's somewhere. Devil fruit. <sighs> open the skylight. Hey! Ooh, the skylight's open. I think we can get in here. But it's pretty far. It's a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? Heh, don't worry. I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist after all. So, what's your call, Joker? Want to head inside? Just a second. You got it. Okay, we'll interpret from this point when you're once you're ready. I have something. Yeah. All right. Fine. There's no nothing really else over there. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty. How suspicious. Too quiet. Almost too quiet. Hey, this. It's moving. Come on, we're in a palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out over. Hmm, the palace reflects its ruler's heart. We may want to check these paintings out. I have something. It's somewhere. Hmm? Oh hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. Is someone's name and it's someone's name and age. What the? That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Let's check the other paintings too. I think there might be something important about them. None of these paintings are his work. I'm curious about the other paintings too. Come on, let's all go look in the next room. Hmm. We can't get through here yet. Wow. Another. This is this this has got the name and age on the plaque. This one has a full name. This has got the name and the age on the plaque. Hey! Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Madaram is famous for having a variety of art styles, but all the portals on display here look all the same. This is way different from what was at the... Wait a second. Damn it. Ain't that this, that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the one who was talking about Madarame? Not Suhiko Nakonohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? It's 
because these aren't works of art. These are all portraits of people. So these are all people that he corrupted. You're right. Doesn't art usually have like the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. It's somewhere. Yeah, painting team. I have something. These paintings are all over the museum palace. I can feel it. this dude in here. I have something. I can see it. Huh? What? No way. Oh. Hey. Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Huh. Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Patrons of the museum. Matarami's pupils, well painted. These are Matarami's pupils. I think you're right. What? For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include formal pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what Nakanara said, got the, what that Naka, Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clear. Hmm. All right, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Moana's got got an idea. I can feel it. I can see it. Can we open this now? Wait! Hey, shouldn't we avoid touching stuff we don't need to? Really? Hmm. We can't go through here yet. It's somewhere. I wanted to unlock that door. Seems to have some kind of pamphlet hmm? here. What's up? You find something? We're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. Chest. Like this treasure chest. Luck. Look, a treasure chest! Why don't... Yep, oh. priorities. It's locked. Needs a lockpick. We have two of those. Want to open it? Open it. Aw, oh, thanks, buddy. Training whip, pearl, snuff sole. Ooh. Is that better than... Increase an attack with lower in accuracy. It's okay. I have something. Protect mask. That, that probably increases my defense. Um, yes. Protect mask. A mask that hides evade curse. Low. A mask that hides one from curses. Okay. Oh, no, she can. It's somewhere. Wait! Wait, we should go look at that brochure before we go. Alright, fine. Hmm. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a palace. Why'd he bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice! That is a possibility. At the very least, it should be good reference for the scale of this place. Huh, but the map only shows half of the museum. I see, it says it's one of out of two. Then the two out of two's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Just how big is this place? We can worry about that another time. 
Right now our objective is looking into Madarame's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty fishy to me. Focus. Wow, I love uh, how diverse each of the palaces are. I can feel it. It's really gonna be cool to like discover what each one is. I have something. From a palace to a museum, and what's next after that? Ah. Uh. Hmm. That's an interesting looking sculpture. Look at this. The Infinite Spring. Huh. A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Oh. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Oh, wow. Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Yeah, this is not cool. Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. Exactly. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. This is why they're all so diverse, because they're all from different students. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Matarame yeah. will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Yeah. Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up. He feels like he owes it to the man. He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. Right, exactly, which is the reason why he's protecting him. But still. When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. Pretty much Yusuke's got some Stockholm, so Stockholm Syndrome, something fierce. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. Yeah. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? Yes. What do you all think? We should confirm these facts with Yusuke first. Yeah. Confirm what though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. I know, I know. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. True. Wait, you're gonna do that? Why not? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Oh, that's so sweet. She's so modest. I love Famous that. Famous renowned artist, huh? Wow. This might be tougher than Kamashita. I think it will well, be. We'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. I think we've brought up for the challenge. This though. is our first mission as real phantom thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. Evening. Mm. The reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? We, would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitagawa-kun, Madarame isn't a problem. Is something wrong? Yeah, a little. I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that's part, that part's totally different from what happened with Kamoshida. This might be an extreme line of thinking. But if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point to us in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Madarame is worth going after or not? I don't know, if it were me, I'd never forgive him. Um, let's see how Yusuke feels. Yeah, I guess we could talk some more after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Ugh, ugh, I cannot go back. Not go back. That's so frustrating. Nice. My freedom is clipped. Let's call it a day and go to bed. Ugh. Yo. Hey, it's me. I can't forgive Madarame, but what Anne said, I can, had said, made me think. To you, Ski, are we just a bunch of thugs? Um. I don't know, bro. I see. You don't know either, I'm gonna make huh? him pay. It ain't like he thinks it is. 
tease me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much while those horrible adults do whatever they want. It makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? We'll take them down. You're right. Thanks. Don't tell Anne I called you, by the way. Seriously, I know. We don't want Anne to be jelly. We don't want her to be jealous. See, ya. See you tomorrow. It's okay, Ryuji. You always will be my number one. Still 6%. Still have so much to do. Ugh. Ugh. Who's spreading this? Try and steal it? Alright, I contacted Kitkoakun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks! I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Don't do anything to yourself, cover yourself in paint. Just be yourself. That's actually kind of hard. Look, you don't gotta do go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get Dura and Madarame, remember? That is true. It sounded like Kitokokun may wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. Hey! I got a response from Kitokokun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. He probably changed his plans immediately. Just so he could get you over there. I need we need to find out from Kitowa kun if that's what we saw in the palace if what we saw in the palace was true. Mm. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Come on, man. Yikes, she got hold off hold of Mishima today? It'd stink if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. We finally landed a big target. Come on, let's go get dirt on Madarame. Man, Anne's late. Sorry. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Hey. Don't you think Kitagawakun has to be protecting Madarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Madarame's true nature. The only reason I can think for him doing that is that Madarame has something on him. Yeah, that's Wait. weird. Well, what's, that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean, prepared? Prepared for what? Hey. Something seems different about her to Something seems different about her to you? Definitely not at all. Did she cut her bangs? Whoa. Ooh, nice eye. I know. I've got a sense for fashion. I didn't cut them. Uh, well, let's get going. Never mind. I didn't get a sense of fashion. We gotta go talk to Yusuke. Kitawa, Kitagawa, Kitagawa kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his okay, model. Let's go. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? I mean, that's fair enough. I love how Ryuji's treating Anne like a little sister. Or Stop making such sister. odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, even if he was, like, attract- If he was interested in the opposite sex, I'd like to hope that he would be able to keep it professional. Huh? Is there a problem? No. Not really. Well then, let's get started. Ryujin's so Ryuji's so overprotective. I love hey. it. Kitagawa kun? Hmm. You hear her? Hmm. He's trying to concentrate. It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were going to catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was going to happen? Guess we just got to wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Go study. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Don't get... Uh, don't get caught. 
Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. Might as well. Hmm. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock? What could be in there? That's right, give us some reconnaissance. <sighs> Are you done? <laughs> it's no good. It's no good. What? It's no good. It's no good, baby. It's no good. I'm sorry. Am I the problem? Oh. No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! Mm. How many hours do you think you made us wait? <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. Yes, this again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? Yeah, even I knew that. That's... Ah, I you knew faltered. It. Ah, if, if, you definitely gave yourself away, sir. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, well, that's not how you're acting. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Yeah, well, he's been having artist block many, 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 many times over. So that's a problem. Dude, still. <sighs> Don't justify it. Itagawa-kun. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? Um when his master is not being a proper one. There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. There was no victims, and why are you acting all weird when we were reacting about your painting? You did that more than once, so you're kind of lying to yourself, sir. But he's stealing, and the other pupils? And the other pupils? I'm supporting I'm... Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Because, well, because you're supporting what he's doing to the other pupils. You're enabling him to do what he's done to the other pupils. If, if, you, if you don't mind him, if for whatever reason you truly, genuinely, honestly don't mind him abusing you in this way, that doesn't mean that the other pupils, pupils appreciated that. You know, like the one guy that we saw on the street. So you're enabling him and that means you're part of the problem too. And, you know, you're not as bad, but you're definitely, you know, adding to the issue. Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Uh, this is going to be an uphill climb. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I no. asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. I don't recall you saying we couldn't come. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. Uh, well, so he can steal your work? But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me... Ah, uh, what? What? I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! I don't know if she's comfortable with that. 
What? I don't know. Um, nude? Isn't she underage? Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. But I think she's underage. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some inconveniences. You mean consequences. Okay. Look, like, poor, poor Anne. Like, she was nervous being a model clothed. Like, asking her to be a nude model. I feel like that's one of those things you kind of have to build up to for most people. I think Anne's a little too modest for that. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh... We're gonna continue this in the next episode, so until then, love yourselves, love each other.